I woke up in a new country, darling. <laughs> I woke up in a new city, in a new continent. <laughs> Heels in the building Sit down, relax Baby, let me take you on a ride Sit down, relax Baby, let me take you on a ride yeah, yeah. Welcome to my roller coaster Hey guys, so this is a few days after that first clip yeah welcome back to my channel if it's your first time watching me my name is Sipo Sami or Sami if you would like and if you're a returning subscriber hey thank you so much for coming back so yeah it's very chill sitting guys I thought I should come here and talk to you guys I posted a video a few days ago telling you guys that I left China and yeah your girl left that country I feel like I could make a whole video telling you guys how unhappy I had become, how depressed I was. Like, I was really depressed. Like, the whole of 2022 was so terrible, guys. But, yeah, that's probably a video for another day. Um, good thing is I finally left. I had been trying to leave for a very long time. So, yeah, guys, I finally left. And from that video, obviously, a lot of you guys are wondering where I am now, what's going on, am I back in Zimbabwe, where am I? <laughs> so, drum roll, please. I mean, obviously, from the title, you figured it out. And if you follow my Instagram, you obviously know by now. But yeah, guys, I am in Rome. Yes, I am in Rome, Italy, in Europe. I am living my absolute best life, okay? I am so happy, guys. Yeah, so I got here a few days ago. Uh, my flight was fine. It wasn't as long as I thought. Like, I thought I would be, like, so exhausted. It wasn't too bad, to be honest. Even, like, I had one layover in Chengdu. It wasn't that bad at all. I had a lot of problems with my luggage. Guys, I had so many things. Like, I don't... I feel like in that video where I showed you guys my luggage, it didn't really show you guys. I had a lot of things. And the thing is, I packed them so well into my bags. They were so overweight. I had to, like, remove... It's either I had to pay, like, a lot of money... <laughs> or they made me remove a lot of my stuff and I, I had like a lot of carry-on bags now like it was really really bad but anyway i traveled fine and i think one interesting thing that i noted was that now like the air hosted air hostesses don't wear like you know the nice outfits they wear like the covid suit style can you imagine it was so strange but yeah and guys i had covid when i traveled i know and when I got here, I'm sure you guys saw the news. I'm going to leave like a screenshot here that said like there was a flight to Milan that like 50% of the people had COVID. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure in my flight too, we all had COVID on that flight. It's crazy. And actually now apparently the government here has like stopped Chinese flights coming in. So I'm just like, wow, this is the grace of God because I could be still stuck in China. <laughs> But yeah, so my first few days here have been, they've been all right. Um, the first day I obviously had to like fix my residence permit and I went to get a new SIM card. Hey guys, Rome Chronicles. So I just went to see my apartment. Yesterday when I got here, I had to sleep at my cousin's place because it was super late. Right now I'm going to get a SIM card for my phone because obviously I need to be connected. So yeah, I'm gonna get a SIM card. I'm also gonna apply for my residence permit today. This is my baby. You guys are gonna be seeing her like a lot. So say hi. Hey. <laughs> Very 
very easy. I remember my classmates telling me this is gonna be so hard. It's very hard to get the permesso kit, blah, blah, blah. Tell me why that took two seconds. Literally two seconds I got mine. So relieved. It's true what they say. Other people's experiences are not your experiences because I was so ready <laughs> to struggle. And here it is. So yeah, next step, we're gonna get a SIM card now. We're gonna get a SIM card and then probably we're just gonna go around and look at beautiful places in Roma. So no name, that name is Okay. Before I came here, I like, pe like I heard that it's so difficult to get like a permesso kit, like the residence permit. But it was actually quite easy for me. I got it done. I had to fill it, but I only like submitted it like yesterday, day before yesterday. Yeah, and I also managed to like go around. I've just been going around. I haven't started like actually making proper vlogs for you guys, but Rome is so beautiful, guys. Hey guys, brand new day in Rome. <laughs> Today we are going to live life. We're just going, we're going to the city centre. I still need to post my permesso kit, i.e. my residence permit. <coughs> Coronavirus! <coughs> I low-key still have China COVID, guys. Don't say that to me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Go. Oh my god. My skin has been breaking out and it's really annoying me because like what is this? My eye was literally swollen this morning and I also have like some pimples on this side. It's really annoying me, but you know what? We move. Say good morning to my baby. Morning. <laughs> Yeah, she's taking me out today, guys. So, let's go! We came to eat. We are freezing. And we got some pear. Were you hungry? Starving. Did you like it? You had better? My hunger. We went to, I, I saw the Colosseum, Colosseo, it's really beautiful and then we walked around like the city center, Piazza Venezia, um, so I went to the Trevi Fountain. Oh my god! Colosseo, is that you? Wow, it's pretty. Hey guys, so first time at the Colosseo today. It's really dark. I should have carried my lights. But yeah, first time at the Colosseo. It's really, really pretty. Like, I feel like my camera is not even doing it justice. But I have to come back like during the day for like some really nice day pictures. There's actually like a lot of people walking around. <laughs> Piazza 
Venezia. It's so beautiful, guys. Like, so beautiful. I don't even think the camera is doing it justice. Like, it's huge. Ciao. Stratagella? I think so. You can read it. Stratagella. Oh no, don't bite your tongue. Don't. Stratagella. Oh wow. Stratagella. Chocolato. E un mio gelato. Uh huh. Con cioccolato. Un sì. Stratagella. Oh wow. Con latte. No, crema. Crema. Oh, that is milk. Yeah. What's yours? Mine is pistachio with fruity di bosco. Mm. This is good. It really is. Cheers. But you'll taste Thank more. You. Ew. <laughs> and then I also had my first spritz and aperitivo. <laughs> yeah, that's like, you know, when you're new in Rome, like, you know, people take you to have your first spritz and then like the aperitivo it was so nice with my cousin's friends so i am ready let me show you my outfit i am just wearing these pants my yeezys i have a pink jersey and my coats it is cold outside and i am not playing with this cold so yeah guys i think i'm gonna take my chanel bag yeah oopsie gonna take my Chanel bag and we are Audi so yeah I need to go take the bus and then meet up with Nobu and her friends and let's see what the night holds guys I hate carrying my camera at night because filming in dim lighting with this camera is not the one so I will probably be filming some clips with my phone so you guys may see a quality change from now Can you please is there any chance you're thinking about me if i change my page babe won't you come back to me cheers <laughs> Tell us what this is. <laughs> hey guys. Give us an introduction. I think you ready? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. So tonight we are in Bini Spritz. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are in Rome. And mm -hmm. so tonight we are having a typical Italian aperitivo. Apertivo. Aperitivo. Aperitivo. Got it. So you got some ham, some cheese, and some bread. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> and some nice friends. And some nice friends. <laughs> Here I'm having I'm eating now. I'm sorry. Please do. Oh, okay. I'm starving. Let's try it. Go for it. This year, it was the most pretty. It was bad. So, yeah, like we had like one too many spritz. So, what the girl? That was your second. She didn't have so many. Why are you getting embarrassed me like this? This was like my sixth. <laughs> Yeah, so. Anyway, we're leaving now. Everybody's going. So, what am I doing in Rome? Why am I actually here? So, guys, um, I actually applied for my master's. Yeah, so I'm enrolled at the University of Rome, mm. Sapienza. Yes, guys. Hmm. Let me tell you that, in fact, let me brag about this because I am so proud of it. Like, literally, it is very hard to get in, especially if you are a non-EU student. Like, in my course, they only take five. 
five international students. So I'm that girl. <laughs> yeah, so I am enrolled for my master's in biochemistry. Yes. But the thing is, guys, I missed a whole semester of school because getting here was a very whew, story for another day. Again, I think I have to do so many story times for you guys to actually like understand. But yeah, um, I missed a whole semester of school because I had so many issues like applying for my visa from China. Word of advice, if you're trying to leave China, if you're in China and you're trying to leave and come to another country, I would say do it from your home country because that country, yeah, no. Make sure you do your applications from your home country. I had so many difficulties, guys, and I almost didn't make it here. So, yeah, because of that, because I missed so much. In fact, at some point, I thought I wasn't going to be able to come here because at some point, my visa was rejected. Yeah, like I got a pre-rejection notice. I actually had to appeal. Yo, let's not get into that. Point is, I almost didn't make it here. And while I was, you know, still trying to make it here, I started like looking for other opportunities. And praise be to God, I actually managed to get some opportunities that are very attractive to me right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna stay in Rome. My master's is for two years. But then again, it's a master's in biochemistry and I studied pharmacy. So I don't actually need it, you know, because I'm really not looking into going into research. The reason why I chose master's in biochemistry is because I thought at some point I really wanted to like go into drug development and drug discovery. But yeah, I've actually got like some really good opportunities, which I think I want to pursue. So I'm not sure if I'll stay here. Let's just say I am figuring things out. So that's what I'm doing in Rome. <laughs> I'm figuring things out. That's my answer. What am I doing here? I'm figuring things out. Yeah, so I'm going to finish the semester. Uh, now is actually exam month. So we have exams in January. And I've been attending some classes online. But to be honest, I, I didn't learn much. So... I'm actually going to defer most of my exams to summer. So if I do decide that I'm going to, you know, go ahead with this master's, I'll probably take most of my exams in the summer. But I do have like um, some group presentations. I have a lot of group projects that I've had to do with my classmates online. And I have presentations and stuff actually starting next week. So yeah, I'm going to finish the semester. And then, you know, I'm, I'm really just taking time to think about things, pray about things, and just like ask God to put me in the right path. So for now, we are in Rome and we're doing Rome. So yeah, I hope that answers you guys' questions. I know y'all are wondering like, where is this girl? What is she doing? <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do make sure to give it a big fat thick thumbs up and i'm gonna keep the rome content coming so excited guys i've been really trying to vlog for you guys so i hope you actually watch it like the video it really helps the channel when you guys watch and when you guys share and all that good stuff subscribe if you haven't i love you guys and i will see you in the next one